All right, so what's up, everybody? It's Boy Canning. Now, today, 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 man, I am super duper whooper excited to vote on the Game Awards. Um, I think Game Awards voting has started. It started about 20 minutes ago. I literally just watched the um, Game Awards announcement video where Jeff Keighley, like, he was going down the line of, like, uh, which games going to be, you know, talked about, which games. He was, he was giving off basically, like, the choices for, um, like, for, for, like, voting and stuff like that. And um and so oh sorry the nominees for the nominations does, does that make sense I think so, um but yeah right now I am literally on Chrome right now I'm gonna just go down the line all 31 uh, categories go down the line if you guys haven't already voted right vote with me bro look watch the video and vote with me bro um literally I tried to uh, click vote now uh it crashed I mean thousands of people are trying to vote at the same time. So I don't know if I'm even gonna get in here at all. So let's hope we get in. Um, all right, see, it says, all right, start voting. I don't know if it's gonna work for me. I think I'm signed in, let me, okay, I'm signed in, great. Are, are we good rec uh, recording wise? Are we good? We're good recording, okay, cool. I just wanna make sure everything is perfect, okay? Let's go, um, start voting. It might crash on me. All right. Okay. Okay. We're here. <sighs> Why did they have to make this one the first one? We got Game of the Year. Let me give you guys the choices for Game of the Year. Alan Wake 2, ba uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Here's what we're going to do, right? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to skip that one completely. We're going to skip that one. We're going to come right back to that one. That, look, make sure you guys stick at the end of the video. Stick at the end of the video. We're going we're gonna to check out, check that out. I can't even talk because I'm so excited, okay? I can't even talk. I personally think they should have had uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor in this rotation, but I guess that's just me, whatever. All right. I'm, out, I'm also watching something on the side, too. It's like a little uh, hip-hop gamer, whatever. Shout out to hip-hop gamer, by the way. But yeah, um... Yeah, so I'm actually going to wait on that one. We're going to skip this. Uh, I get to view. Let me view all the categories real quick. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time before I go. All right, so I skipped that one. Okay, you get, listen, make your, vote, make your vote. I skipped that one. Okay, because we're going to see how that is. All right, at the end of the video, make sure you guys stay tuned for my game of the year. Um, and, and yeah, so. Next, we got Best Game Direction, awarded for Outstanding Create. Uh, I can't read. Awarded for Outstanding uh, Creative Vision and uh, Innovation in Game Direction and Design. So, we got Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate, uh, Spider-Man 2, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, so basically like the same, the same batch. This is for Best Game Direction. In my opinion, when it, when it comes to Best Game Direction, I think I think uh, Marvel Spider-Man got it. I think Spider-Man 2 got it. Out of the out of the names that I just named and after the like names that I'm looking at right now, I think that Spider-Man 2 got it. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I think Spider-Man 2 got it. Um okay, cool. Yep, that's my vote for that one. Alright, next category. What do you guys think, man? Honestly, I was thinking I was thinking Super Mario Bros. Wonder when it comes to the game direction, but Spider-Man 2, like the, bro, the level is crazy. Well, you can change your vote on this. I didn't know you can change your vote. Mm, maybe I get to change my boot. But yeah, so we got best narrative for outstanding and uh, storytelling and narrative development in the game. Let me see if we're still good. We're still good. All right, we're great. All right, so we got Alan Wake 2, Baldur, uh, Baldur's Gate 3, Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Final Fantasy 16, and then we got Spider Man uh, 2. And this is for best narrative. I can't lie to you. If we're talking about for the best narrative, I got two going neck and neck for this one. I got Final Fantasy 16 and I got Spider-Man 2. I'm going to go... Uh, you know what? I'm going to go Final Fantasy for this one. I'm going to go Final Fantasy for, for, for this one. Yeah, I'm going to go Final Fantasy. Yeah, I'm going to go Final Fantasy because... Even though Spider-Man 2, like, the story was good, for some reason, for me, it was short. I feel like for Final Fantasy, 
I'm not really uh, a, a diehard, you know, super try hard, you know, Final Fantasy fan. But bro, like, like catching up on like the lore and stuff like that, I found that Final Fantasy like, like, like the story is pretty cool. And like, I don't know, bro. It, it's just like, it was short to me. Like Spider Man Two's story like was short for me. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, I got um, Final Fantasy for best narrative. Uh, on to the next one. This video is gonna be really long, man. Make sure you guys get it like a soda, something like that. The server crashed, bro. So many people are trying to vote right now. It's crazy. Oh man, hopefully we can get back on, bro. There's so I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine like the people right now refreshing. All right, I'm back in. I'm back in. Wait a minute. Don't leave. I'm back in. I'm back in. Okay. We got best art direction. For outstanding and creative or technical um, achievement in artistic design and animation. Okay, best art direction we got Alan Wake 2, Hi uh, Fi Rush, Lies of P, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and Tears of the Kingdom. I'm gonna be honest already, tell my best art direction. I'm, ooh, man, I might have to go Super Mario Bros. Wonder for this one. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Super Mario Bros. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go through Mario Bros. All right, uh, next category. Hopefully, I don't get uh, forced out again <laughs> because there's so many people trying to vote right now. All right, we got best score in music for our stunning uh, music, inclusive score, uh, original song slash licensed soundtrack. I'm gonna see if we're still uh, recording. Great, we are. Um. We got Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Final Fantasy, uh, Hi-Fi Rush, and we got Legend, um, sorry, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Best music. Uh, out of those, you know what? I might have to go, I'm going to go, Z ooh, hold up, because Final Fantasy music is, is crazy. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go Zelda. Something's telling me to go Zelda. I'm going to go Zelda. The music in Zelda, do, bro, it hits different. Hits different, bro. Let me know down below, man, what you guys voted for. Um. Okay, yeah. And sorry, like, if it's taking a little slow. Um, Literally, like, thousands of people are trying to, like, they're trying to, like, <laughs> uh, start right now. I'm going to refresh again. Hopefully, you know, I, I can actually get in because there's so many people trying to, like, vote right now. And that's why, like, it keeps crashing, by the way. So, um, all right, we're here. Best audio design. Uh, recognized as the best in-game audio and sound design. Okay, so this might be a little different. We got uh, Alan Wake 2, okay, Dead Space, Hi-Fi Rush, uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2, and then we got Resident Evil 4. Now, we're talking about audio design, like, I would go. I would go either Dead Space or Resident Evil Four. And to be honest, oh man, this is hard because they both have really good audio. I'm gonna go Red. De I'm gonna go. Um, I said Red Dead. Sorry, Resident Evil. I'm gonna go Resident Evil Four. Yeah, I'm gonna go Resident Evil Four. Yep, I'm gonna go that. Hopefully, I don't crash again. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, we did. Best performance awarded to an individual. Uh, I can't read. Awarded to an individual for uh, voice over acting, motion, uh, and slash performance capture. All right, so we got Ben Starr in Final Fantasy. We got uh, Cameron Monaghan in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. He did a really good job, in my opinion. Um, we got uh, Idris in uh, Cyberpunk. We got... Um, Melanie uh, LaBird in Alan Wake 2. We got uh, Neil Newborn um, in Baldur's Gate 3. And then we have Yuri L Lewenthal in Marvel's Spider Man 2. You know what? I'm going to be biased. I'm going I'm going with Cameron Monaghan, bro. He did a really, he did an extravagant job. Yep. Extravagant with a capital E. Um, does extravagant start with an E or ex extravagant? Yeah. Come on, bro. I'm smart. 
Yeah, nice. Let's go. Um, next one. <laughs> next one. He bet. Listen, he better get an award. That man better get an award. Am I lagging, by the way? I don't think I'm lagging. Nice. Just let me know. Listen, let me know if I'm lagging. Whatever. Let me know. We got uh, innovation and accessibility. Um, recognizing software and hardware that is pushing the minimum uh, forward by adding features, to, uh, technology, and content to help gamers be played and um, wait to help gamers be played and enjoyed by even a wider audience. I'm gonna go. Ooh, okay. So we got Diablo 4, Forza, um, Hi-Fi Rush, uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Mortal Kombat 1, and Street Fighter 6. So basically, like, like game innovation. So like, for a game to like innovate and to be okay, this is hard because you would easily think that I would go Mortal Kombat One, right? Because Mortal Kombat One is, it's it, for me that's tied with Diablo Four whenever it comes to innovation. But I think Mortal Kombat One has it, it upgraded on like a higher level, like graphically. They added a bunch of new. Yeah, I'm going Mortal Kombat One on this one. Yep. Mortal Kombat 1. But that's my choice. Do not just... Don't copy off of me. Take your own choice, okay? Don't copy off the guy with the orange lips, okay? Literally, <laughs> make your own decisions. I don't want... I don't... You know, I don't, I'm not here trying to influence anybody. I'm just going off of, like, my own choices, okay? Games for Impact. This is another uh, category. For a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message. Okay. We have a space for the unbound. I never played that game before. Chance of Sinar. I never played that game. Goodbye, Volcano High. Okay. We got Tichia. I think I've seen that game before. I never played it. We got Terra Neal. I don't know why I said the Neal like that. I don't know why I said that, but uh, the, I think it just rolled off my tongue. And we got Venba. I'm going to be honest. I, never, I did not play any of these games. Um... I understand that I can I could skip. Should I skip this one because I because I never played any of these games or should I just vote one just because? You know what? We're gonna do any mini mini mo. Any mini mini mo catch a tiger by its toe. If he hollers, let him go. Any mini mini mo. Okay, Mo landed on a space for the unbalanced. I'm gonna vote that one. I'll vote that one. <laughs> Alright, listen. I'm going to be honest, I did not play any of those games. No shade towards those games at all. I just haven't played them. So, um, yeah. Next category. Again, hopefully, you know, we don't lag. Hopefully, you know, we're, we're not lagging. Are we good? Hello, hello, hello. I think we're good. <laughs> okay. We got best ongoing. Okay. Awarded to a game for outstanding development. Of ongoing content that evolves the player experience over time. Okay. Uh, we got some nice things. Alright, so we got... Uh, first up, we got Apex Legends. The next one, we got Cyberpunk 2077. The next one, we got uh, Final Fantasy 16. Then we got Fortnite. And then we got uh, Genshin Impact. Okay. This is easy for me. I think that this game has shown time and time again, week after week, that... That they never really run out of content whenever it comes for a game. Um, it, it, it's just, it's literally like everlasting content. I respect this game uh, t like 10 times, like tenfold, like 10 toes down. I respect it 1000%. Uh, and my vote is Fortnite. Fortnite, call me what you want, but Fortnite has been able to put out content uh, week after week, month after month. They, they, they're making events. They got um, new games coming out. Uh, the Fortnite content creators are like on it, like, it, but like, bro, it's literally like, like it's Fortnite, like, bro, and Fortnite, for me, I just think that I'm voting it right now. By the way, I just think that like that like Fortnite is like the standard for like a battle royale. Like, if you have a, if you ever like want to make a battle ro or royale or whatever, brother, you should make a game that. Not like Fortnite, but you should try to look at Fortnite and be like, okay, how can we be consistent and how can we make enough content and, and, and just keep the game going? You know, how can we um, innovate? I, I'm surprised Fortnite wasn't in like the uh, the innovation thing with Mortal Kombat One 
and um and and and, and Diablo and stuff like that. I'm surprised that wasn't in that because if that was, I probably would have voted Fortnite, bro. Fortnite they have a reputation of like of of, of just of just staying on it, you know, so I respect that a lot. We have best community support, recognizing game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness, inclusive of social media activity, uh, game updates slash patches. Okay, now this right here, before I even look at the, the choices, this right here should be Fortnite as well. Okay, I don't see Fortnite, but okay. We got Boulder, uh, Boulder's Gates, we got Cyberpunk 2077, we got Destiny Final Fantasy 16, uh, no Man's Sky. I'm going to go Final Fantasy 16. If you want to talk about somebody, a game having a fan base, Final Fantasy or, or, or a community, Final Fantasy has one of the biggest fan bases out there, bro. They will ride or die for their game, bro. And I respect it. I respect it. It's honestly one of the strongest um, video game communities out there, bro. Best independent game for outstanding and creative technical achievement and game made outside the traditional public, um, sorry, publisher system. Okay. We got Cocoon, Dave the Diver, Dredge, Sea of Stars, and then we have Viewfinder. Oh, my God. Okay, so I actually remember Viewfinder from the last Game Awards. They uh, showcased that in the last Game Awards. Um, I'm going to drink some water real quick. They, um, they, showca they, 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 they showcased that at the, um, at the last Game Awards. I'll be honest, I have not played any of these games before, but Viewfinder does look nice, in my opinion. It does, it's, it's, it's one of the nicer ones out of these, um, and, I don't mean, and I don't mean to, like, you know, um, offend anybody, but I'm going to go with Viewfinder on, that one, on, on this one. Okay, next category, what we got? We got Best Debut Indie Game. Okay, for the best uh, debut game created by a new independent studio um all right so we got cocoon dredge pizza tower uh venba or we have viewfinder okay so out of these is between pizza tower and viewfinder i'm gonna go pizza tower yeah i'm gonna go, uh, pizza tower All right, so we got best mobile game uh for the best game playable on a mobile device now i haven't played a mobile game in a long time we have Final Fantasy uh, 7, Ever Crisis. Never played that on the mobile. I, listen, I'm going to be honest. I never played any of these on the mobile. We have uh, Hello Kitty Island Adventure, Honkai Star Rail, Monster Hunter Now, and we have uh, Terra Neo. I'm going to be honest. On mobile, I'm going to go find. Oh. I'm going to go Final Fantasy 7. Or I might go Monster Hunter. Yeah, I'm going Monster. I'm, uh, no, I'm going Final Fantasy. Yeah. All right, next category. Listen, yeah, we we gotta rip through these, man. It's a, it's a very long list. Best VR slash AR uh, for the best game experience playable in a virtual or argumented uh, reality, and irrespective of platform. Let me be honest. These the little. little Big words, bro. These got me stuttering, bro. <laughs> These big words got me stuttering, bro. All right, we got Gran, uh, Gran Turismo 7, Horizon Call of the Mountain, Humanity, uh, Resident Evil Village VR mode, uh, and then we have Synapse. I've never heard of that game before. Best VR game? I'm going to be honest. I haven't played any of these games VR because I don't have a VR, but I can't lie. That Resident Evil VR mode sounds pretty cool, and that Gran Turismo sounds pretty cool, too. And humanity sounds cool. Bro, do you guys remember humanity? Oh, man. I'm going to go I'm gonna go Resident Evil VR mode. I'm going to go that one. I'm going to go that one. Okay. Best action game for the best um, game in the action genre. Focus primarily on combat. Okay. We have Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. We have Dead Island 2, we have Ghost Runner 2, Hi-Fi Rush, and Remnant 2. I'm instantly going to go Armored Core uh, 6. Um, because I think that whenever it just comes to straight combat, I think this game is a straight combat like type of game. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go uh, Armored Core. That's what I think. That's what I'm going for. That's what I think. 
We still good? Alright, we're still good. Alright, we got best action slash adventure. The best action slash adventure game uh, combining combat with traversal and puzzle solving. Great. Um, I'm gonna oh hold up, I'll read off the choices real quick. Alan Wake 2, uh, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, and we have um, Tears of the Kingdom. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. If we're talking, listen, listen to me real quick. If we're talking about combat and puzzle solving, like together, it's between Spider-Man 2 and Star Wars Jedi Survivor. And I'm going to go Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Yeah. I said it. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to go Star Wars Jedi Survivor. In, in my opinion. That's in my opinion. Okay, please don't kill me. We have best RPG for the best game design with a rich player character customization and um, progression, including massively multiplayer experiences. All right. We got Borders uh, Gate, Final Fantasy 16, Lies of P, Sea of Stars, and then we have Starfield. I'm going lives of P. Oh no, hold up. If we're talking about strictly just like if we're talking about strictly, you have a character, you upgrade this character. I'm going lives of P, yeah. I wanted to go Starfield, but lies of people's calling my name. All right, we got best fighting game. Um, for the best game designed primarily around hand to hand, uh, he sorry, uh, head to head combat, we have God of Rock, Mortal Kombat One, Nickelodeon All Star Brawls Two. Um, we have Pocket Bravery, and then we have Street Fighter Six. In my opinion, I think Mortal Kombat One is best fighting game of the year. Um, even though Street Fighter Six, what? Street Fighter 6 was an amazing game, but I, I'm going to have to go Mortal Kombat 1, so. Let's go again. All right, so we got best family game for the best game appropriate for family play, um, irrespective of game, oh, sorry, of genre and platform. Sorry, y'all, I can't read today. Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, we have... Um, Disney Illusion Island, Party Animals, which is a really good game, Pikmin 4, Sonic Superstars, and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now, if Super Mario Bros. Wonder wasn't in this list, I would instantly pick Sonic Superstars or Party Animals. But Super Mario Bros. Wonder is, is in my opinion, the best family game right now. If you disagree, it's fine. I, I'm not expecting people to agree or whatever. It is what it is. Best sim slash strategy. Best game focused on a real time or turn based simulation or strategy gameplay, um, irrespective of platform. Okay. Best strategy game. We have Advanced Wars 1 plus 2, Cities, uh, Skylines 2. We have um, um, Company of Heroes 3, Fire Emblem Engage. We have Pikmin 4. Uh, I would go, you know what? I never thought I'd ever see the day that I'll vote for Pikmin, but I'm going to vote for Pikmin. I'm not really a, a huge Pikmin, you know, type of, um, fan. I don't have a problem with the game. It's just, I never really found it interesting, but I, I guess I would take, uh, Pikmin over. We have best sports slash racing uh, for the best traditional and non-traditional sports uh, in racing game. Okay. Also, these are like racing games, basically. Oh, best sports slash racing. Oh, wait. These are the best like sports, too? They have to put these together. Huh. So, we got EA Sports, FC24, F124, Forza, um, sorry, Forza Motorsport, 
and we have um hot wheels unleashed two turbo charged and then we have the crew motor fest the crew motor fest was a really good game in my opinion i would go Give me Forza. Give me Forza. Give me Forza. I wanted to go to Crew, but I was like, eh, I'll just go Forza. Best multiplayer. We have four outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design, including co op and massively multiplayer experiences, irrespective of game, genre, or platform. Best multiplayer game uh, Borderlands Gate, Diablo 4, Parting Animals, Street Fighter 6, and we have Super Mario Bros. Wonder. If we're talk, I I think that this is I think that this is no biggie here. I got Diablo Four winning best multiplayer game. I think that it just makes sense. Um, for me, it makes sense for me. I think that it's the best multiplayer game out of those. Out of those, I think it's the best. Yeah, best adaptation. Uh, recognizing outstanding creative work that faithfully and authentically. Uh, I've never said, wow, I've never said that word before. Authentic, authentically, wow, I've literally never said that word before. I've a video game to another entertainment medium. So, best adaption game. We have um, Castlevania uh, Noctur Nocturnal? Nocturnal? Is that what it's called? Gran Turismo, um, The Last of Us, Super Mario Bros. Movie, and then we have uh, Twisted Metal. Now basically these are all movies that were made it, there was like there was like movie remakes of a video game. I think that The Last of Us was the best in my opinion. So I'm gonna go to that. The listen, the Super Mario Bros. movie was nice, but I think that The Last of Us, like that 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 like that um that show was nice. I'm I'm gonna go to The Last of Us, yeah. All right, so we're getting to it. We got the final seven, the final seven. Okay. Woo! We got the final seven. All right. Most anticipated game, recognizing an announced game that has uh, dimensionally. I demonstrably, oh my lord, I can't read it. Um, illustrated potential to push the medium to, to push the gaming medium for. I'm so excited. Like, listen, you know, I'm excited when I'm stuttering so much. Okay, we got Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, Hades 2, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, Star Wars Outlaws, and then we have Tekken 8. These are all future games that are going to come out in the future. Um, I can't lie. I'm excited for that Star Wars Outlaws. Am I wrong for that? I'm also excited for that Tekken 8 that's coming out in January. I'm excited. Hey, I can't lie to you. I might have to pick Star Wars Outlaws, though. I'm excited for most of these games. I'm going to pick Star Wars Outlaws, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Listen. Listen. I'm sorry. All right. Content creator of the year for a streamer or content creator who has made an important impact. Sorry, who has made an important and a positive impact on the community in 2023. All right, let's read them off. Let's read them off. We got Iron Mouse, People Make Games, Quackity, Sp Spring, and we have Cypher PK. Now, in my opinion... In my opinion, I'm gonna go Cipher PK. I like Cipher. I'm gonna be honest. I like I, I know I, listen. I know Quackity and I know uh, Cipher PK out of like these five, right? I'm gonna go Cipher. Shout out to everybody else on the list, but I gotta go to to, to one of the goats, one of the Fortnite goats, Cipher PK. All right, best esports game. Uh, for the game that has delivered the best overall esports experience to players, 
um, in perspective of uh, genre or platform. Okay. CSGO 2, Dota 2, League of Legends, PUBG Mobile, and then we have App Valorant. If we're talking about best esports game, there's only two in my head. CSGO or League. Valorant is cool too, but like, I don't, I don't think Valorant comes close to League of Legends. So I'm going to go... Oh, wait, but CSGO 2 is cool. Yeah, I'm going to go League of Legends. Yeah. I'm going to go League of Legends. But that's my opinion, though. You don't have to... You don't have to follow on, on my opinion. You don't. Best esports athlete. We have Faker. Zywoo. Demon 1. Hydra. Ruler. Or... Imperial with Leo Hu. I said his name wrong, didn't I? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Faker. I'm gonna go Faker. Best esports team: Evil Geniuses, Fnatic, uh, Gaming Gladiators, JD Gaming, or Team Fatality. I don't know any of these guys. Respectfully, I don't really watch esports like that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fanatic. They look cool. <laughs> they look cool. I'm gonna go with them because I don't really know esports like that. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, best esports coach. We got, um, Kristen Potter Chi, uh, Danny Zonic, uh. Sin, Sin, Sorison. We got Jordan Gunba Graham, Remy XTQZZZ, uh, Quanium, Yoon Hami, Homie. I'm just call you Homie, okay? I'm just call you Homie, my boy. Um, you know what? Let's go with Homie. Let's go with Homie. Why not? Again, I don't really know esports like that, y'all. So I'm, I'm just, I guess I'm gonna just tag along, right? I understand that esports to gaming is like, is like the like NBA. That's where all the professionals go. But like, listen, I'm sorry, you know. Best esports event we got um, League of Legends. Sorry, 2023 League of Legends World Championship. That was big. I do remember that. We have uh, Blast TV Paris Major 2023. We have Evo 2023. That was massive as well. The uh, International Dota 2 Championship 2023. Then we have Valorant Champions. Valorant Champions, they were massive too. But I'm going to go 2023 League of Legends World Championship. That was massive. Absolutely massive. All right. And I think, listen, we're almost, listen, we're almost there. We're almost there. Okay. Hold up. Oh, wait. I, that was it. I got to do one more, though. I got to do one more, though. Wait, oh, no, no, no. Hold up. No. Can I go back? I got to go back. Hold up. I got to go back. I, I got to. Okay, hold up. Go back. Let me go, let me go back real quick, y'all. Because they said that, oh, you reached the end, whatever. I was like, oh, no. Hold on. I got to go back. All right. Now, we have game of the year. The moment you guys have been absolutely waiting for from me. Let me go over the scores one more time. Alan Way 2, Baldur's Gate 3, Marvel Spider-Man 2, Resident Evil 4. We have a Superman. Uh, I said Superman. Whoa. Uh, Super Mario Bros. Wonder. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh man. Oh man. Okay, hold up. Bro, it, oh my god. Wait. So I'll keep it on. It's between Marvel Spider-Man 2 and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. 
But I think if we're talking about if we're talking about overall, right? Let's talk. Let, let's let you know if we're talking about overall, everybody. If we're talking about the hype, the pre-hype. If we're talking about the gameplay. I got to go Marvel Spider-Man 2. I'm going Spider-Man 2. I know. I know, man. I know. I know. Because part of me was like, bro, but Zelda, but look, Tears of the Kingdom was crazy. Tears of the Kingdom was crazy. How could you? And here's why, and here's why I say that. Because at the end of the day, Spider-Man 2 is, is, is that good, bro. It's that good. And I know there's going to be some people looking at me crazy like, bro, but like, I know. It was so, I know. But here's the thing, though. Here's the kicker. Because at the end of the day, you know what? Oh, my God. I. Oh, am I going to have to do a mid swap? Because I'm thinking about it. Bro, I can't even hold up. Hold up, y'all. Hold up. Because part of me is saying that. Part of me is saying that. Is saying that Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is gonna pull an Elden Ring. Because if you guys remember last year, God of War blew Elden Ring out the park when it came to like every single thing, right? It was God of War, God of War, God of War, until um Game of the War came. Th- I said Game of the War. Game of the Year came through, and Elden Ring took Game of the Year. Even though they got outscored in all the other, um, in, you know, in all the other, um, you know, categories, they still took Game of the Game of the Year home. And that was because, in actuality, bro, a lot more people enjoyed Elden Ring, and Elden Ring was everywhere. That's the thing. It was a numbers game too. Elden Ring was, was it was on PC, it was on Xbox, it was on PlayStation, it was literally everywhere. So by numbers, it was gonna beat God of War. God of War was only on PlayStation. Elden Ring was on PC, PlayStation, um, and Xbox. So it was gonna beat it was gonna beat PlayStation. No matter it was gonna be um God of War, right? If we're if we're looking at the hype on how like because think about it, we haven't had a Spider-Man game since 2020, but also we haven't had a um, we haven't we have we haven't had a, uh I can't talk we haven't had we haven't had a, a Zelda game since Breath of the Wild and that was what 20 was that 2019 what, what year was that since a long time that's the thing oh man it's just the it, see it's the hype from both the hype from Nintendo the hype from all the Nintendo fans is is oh bro it's ridiculous. We already know it's going to be close. They're going to ride out for this game. But obviously, Spider-Man 2, bro, everybody everybody thinks that this game is going to be game of the year. And so do I. I think Spider-Man 2 is going to somehow, some way, I feel like they're going to pull it out. I feel like Spider-Man 2 is going to pull it out. And I think, man, I, it's going it, to, it, man, I can't, hold up. Because I got it right last year. Even though I voted God of War, because I wanted God of War to win, I knew. iPhone. I, I knew that Elden Ring was going to win. I'm going to go Spider Man 2, man. I'm going I'm to I'm hold on to my score. I think Spider Man 2 has it in the bag this year. Um, and yeah, that's, that's what I think, man. Comment down below, man. What do you guys think about my choices? Did I make the right decisions? Did I, you know, comment down below? What did you guys choose as well? I really want to get to know uh, you guys. Uh, cate- sorry, you guys' choices. I said categories. Um, other than that, I've talked for like 40 minutes. My mouth is tired. Um, I'll see you guys later. Four next when I'm out, man. And.